And humans are impacting every single environment in the world, from the, the poles to the equator. And, and we should be part of, of trying to make them better. What I love about my job is I've got the opportunity not only to get in the water myself and be part of that, planting corals, but to really facilitate through our role at the authority to, to help others do it. Neil Matox, I'm the coordinator of reef conservation actions within the field management program here at the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority. Mars Reef Star is a hexagonal shaped welded steel structure that is used to support fragments of coral to help regenerate areas of reefs that have been damaged by a cyclone or, or some other disturbance. They've been used quite a lot in Indonesia already. The Mars Corporation developed them over there to try and rehabilitate areas of reefs that have been damaged by uh, blast fishing. And in Australia here now on the Great Barrier Reef, we're trying them out to see how they might help to rehabilitate areas of reefs that have been impacted by cyclones or other events, coral bleaching uh, that have resulted in areas of degraded reef. The installation for the, this project at Green Island was in November last year. That involved collecting several thousand coral fragments, attaching to the reef stars, installing the following day, installing the reef stars into the location, which involved snorkeling down, dropping in the water, then using scuba divers to uh, join them all together using some cable ties and star pickets. You sort of bang in star pickets around the edges to lock them all in place. In the following weeks, we went back and checked it. We did um, some post installation monitoring to see what the site was like immediately after that. It's been a really good opportunity for people that have a real concern about the Great Barrier Reef, that live and work in the Great Barrier Reef, a lot of the tourism operators, to be able to not only continue to try and in interpret the reef and its health to visitors, to, but to be directly engaged in, in an activity where they can help to rehabilitate a small area of reef. We're not going to save the Great Barrier Reef with these small localised projects, but there are, there are so many ways in which they, they can improve outcomes, both for the ecology of those areas, um, but even more broadly, just sort of spread out to the, to the people involved and, and, and create you know, a positive sense of things we can do to improve the reef going forward.